Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Really super cheap and actually dangerous to the human body versus extremely safe, very heavy duty, long lasting for the long haul and literally only a couple of dollars more. Let's move over to Amazon here, shall we? Okay, so here's mine. Well, one of them. Okay, that, that'd be this little guy here. Okay, and as you can see, I mean... It's the same thing. Same thing. Locks do not do squat on these things. You have to hold the lock in. So if you hold the lock up and push the button, nothing happens. If you let it go, it just drops anyways and voila. But nothing holds this in. Also, very flimsy. Okay? Very easy to bend this thing. Alright? Look at how hollowed out and cheap that metal is. Okay? Very, very malleable let's see if we can do this for you guys i don't know how well that's going to work um i cleaned all the gunk i could out of my comb here i've had this thing for several years i mean it lasts me because while well, i'm an adult i'm careful i you know i'm responsible well something like anyways so but i mean it works especially on shorter hair right short hair short bristles works great it's fine um, but I've had this thing for years. I'm actually surprised how long this thing has lasted me. Now, I don't use it every single day. I mean, it's, it's not that kind of longevity that I would say, you know, but I've had it for an awful long time, but I have actually had to rebend this a few times. If you get knots in your hair, <laughs> this is not what you want because you'll just wreck this thing in no time. But it is very dangerous. You know, I would not give these to kids. Although they've been making these things for literally decades and decades, okay? Um, I had these things when I was a kid myself, you know, exactly the same model. They've been around forever. What's changed with this design over the years, okay, is just one part. They went from having a really heavy-duty switchblade spring. Remember the switchblade knives? They had that really heavy-duty spring that sat in the center. You could literally see the spring, Okay. They went, they actually had that in this and enough flips and this, this hinge would just blow apart. The knife blows it. Well, in this case, the comb blows apart and then out comes the spring and it's like, Hey, I got a great spring, but no comb anymore. Well, they went to a weaker, um, spring system. That's also on the inside that seems to last quite a long time. Um, and as long as you don't gunge up the hinge network in here with crap, it's still gonna, you know, flip out for you. No problem. Now, this thing's working absolutely perfect. I cleaned it today <coughs> before the video because I wanted to get at least whatever junk I could out of the bristles. Um, but, yeah, it's just nylon um, comb that's slid onto a little uh, shaft here, and it's crimped in place to keep it there, and that's it. I mean, it wouldn't take much to destroy this thing. And being that this is thin and very sharp metal edges, something that has not changed in the last 50 years, um, yeah, it's not exactly what you call a safe little unit and it can easily open in your pocket, um, which is not going to harm you anyways because, well, there's no real pressure there anyhow, but it does make for, uh, oh, my freaking comb opened up. Grab your comb out. You could probably bend your comb on the way out of your pocket because you're going to get it jammed in your pocket. So, because the locks don't work, right? It just doesn't do anything. Now, if you hold it in place and then push the button... Oh, it's still going to work because it dropped on me, right? This is kind of dumb, right? But these start at $10, okay, on there. Now, there is one up here for $5, which actually, believe it or not, comes in the exact same box as mine did. This is the box I had for mine, and this was like 5 bucks. Now, I don't remember what I paid for this. I bought this years ago. But either way, the cheapest you're going to get away with with this model is literally $5, and if you blow up the pictures here, um, you can literally see how cheaply built this thing really is. Other than what I'm trying to show you on video, which, you know, that is really super bad. Um, but yeah, they start at five bucks at the cheapest point here, or four dollars and what is it? Four dollars and seventy nine cents. Now this is Canadian too, all the way up to literally twenty dollars. Somebody is like on something like. I would not pay $20 for this, you know, and I honestly, I paid $17.99 for this, and another seller has it here for $26, okay, 
same as mine. Now, I bought mine from Fly Lynn Seller or Fly Lynn brand. This is like, to me, I can't even pronounce it. But anyways, 26 bucks. People do not shop around, apparently, on Amazon because um, they're buying the more expensive ones. Um, here's mine here. This is from Fly Lynn. Now, he had absolutely no reviews on this thing, so it's kind of like, you know what? I don't mind giving sellers a chance, you know? And I, I have read a couple of mixed reviews on these particular models, okay? But these are super heavy-duty built. These are built for the long haul, okay? And they're quality, right? Like, I, that comes out rather quickly, which is nice. It's an all-steel comb, which is also nice. But look at how well that is made. That's some really nice thick steel in there. It's got a really nice strong spring that's hidden within the frame. Um, now, we don't know how long the springs are going to last. However, you know, that's a given. You know, you never know how long anything lasts in this life. But uh, if they at least lubricated it in there, then it should last for several years, you would think. Um, but it's all screwed together, too, with Phillips screws. So if you just... If you have a jeweler screwdriver kit or you know something a little bit bigger that fits proper at least you can take this thing apart no problem and then uh, for the hinge here that's like an allen key uh, for getting the, the the main piece out you can take this apart in little bits and pieces clean it all up lube stuff up you know i mean hey maintenance man you can do maintenance right if you needed to um you know, it does take pressure to close this back up, but that's good. You want that, right? It's spring-loaded after all. That's why they call it a switchblade comb uh, in this case. So, now, the other benefit here is flick the switch forward, push the button all you want, nothing happens. Back to center, and it opens. No problem, okay? While it's open, you can flick the switch forward, and it locks it positive lockup so you don't have to worry about you know when you're combing your hair especially a lefty like myself or even if you're a righty you're more tempted to actually push the button it's not going to try and collapse on you because you've double locked it so it does have a nice double lock system which is really awesome okay but that is quality built it's got weight to it you know it works you know it locks in place period you know it's not flimsy right it's solid it's no slop in there heavy duty belt clip i wish they would have brought a, had a case with it but you know you can always get a case third party anyhow if you wanted to but either way you do have a belt clip either way or just pop it in your pocket whatever and if you do just lock it up um but yeah 18 dollars. so literally if these are going for up to 20 for a piece of garbage that's dangerous to the human body you know this is 18 dollars. so it'd be two dollars cheaper than the most expensive of this and yet this is like five million percent better in every single way imaginable right now there are out the front models the out the front models have actually worse reviews um i only seen a couple of you know people who had some issues with this model not from uh flylin though but for different versions from other sellers or brands um defects can happen we know this right so don't worry if you get a defect you got 30 days for uh refund or exchange anyhow so if anything happens within the first 30 days you're good to go after that you got nothing to gripe about because rules are rules on amazon right um but i would not pay 71 dollars for an out the front now i think out the front is kind of a cool concept um but never the best design okay so Mm, and I would not pay $71 for that. That is just ludicrous for a frigging comb. Okay, this is more functional. Like, even you can get this model here for as little as $12 right now. Okay? Usually ships within four to five days. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we don't know where this guy's located, but probably somewhere in China. Shintanmei. I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> anyway, for 12 bucks, I mean, I'm probably not going to buy one from them just because of the long time before it ships. Um, but I might buy a couple of more of these from other sellers that I can get it quicker from. Uh, like this is 20 bucks, right? So a little bit more than this one. Two bucks, well, almost $3 more. Um, I can get it by this Saturday. 
no big deal. It comes from B R R N O O, whoever the heck that is. But it's kind of like neat. It's like, okay, well, that looks all right, you know. There are 24 ratings you can read about, you know. Um, there are definitely bots up here for sure because companies can't move like the out the front one. So there's a bot review here. One rating, four stars, but no writing. Nobody bought that, okay, nobody. So watch out for those kind of reviews for sure on Amazon. But I still wouldn't pay you 71 bucks. I'd pay 20 but, you know, just to see how long it lasted. But uh, they seem to have a common theme at 20, uh, at 72 bucks almost for this one for out the front. Now, if you're not into the whole switchblade comb thing, um, which is fine, you can get butterfly or balasong uh, combs. It's not a big deal, right? Now, this is the cheapest one of this you're going to find. It's under $5. Okay, right now there's no seller options uh, because, well, they have no stock, right? But the cheapest you're going to get away with is $5. And it's like, but it's the same thing. So why would anybody charge $20 on Amazon or $14 or $15 for this dangerous piece of junk when people can spend the same money or less, you know, for super high end, right? Like, it just doesn't make sense with these sellers. They don't even research Amazon themselves. But you know what? They're suckers born every minute. And sellers can sometimes rely on suckers in this case. Because you're going to spend $14 here. Or maybe you'll find one down here. Oh, look at that. It's the exact same thing as this piece of garbage. $20.69. Plus import fees on top of that. So you're going to pay almost 30 bucks by the time you get this thing with taxes and import fees. Right? Like... Are you serious? Like, you would be nuts to order that in. Most of these things are all in Canada. That one's from the States. But um, it's just insanity, you know, at its best. You know, eight fifty. So if you're looking for a quality switchblade comb, look no further than these styles on Amazon. Doesn't matter if you buy this one from Flylin like I did, or you uh, buy another brand up there from another seller, you know... Chances are you're going to get a really good unit. If you do get a defect, you've got 30 days for a refund or exchange uh, under the warranty on these things. Um, I've been flipping this thing a lot since I got it yesterday. I was playing around with it because I'm like, okay, well, how many flips can I get away with tonight and just sit there and dick around with it while I'm watching TV? And absolutely no issues. I probably got more flips on this thing now uh, for opening it and closing it than the guy who reported that he had an issue after like a day or two, you know, but hey, you know what, if you have that issue, all he has to do is claim his warranty or refund and get another one or whatever, right, so defects can happen, that's the big point of all this, but, um, well, the bigger point to this video though is, don't buy this, buy this, this is cheap, so is this, this can cost you upwards to, well, we found out a lot, um, but you can get these for like ten dollars, fourteen dollars, seventeen dollars. We can buy this for eighteen bucks. You can even find it for fourteen bucks um, or fifteen bucks if you like this pearl handle. Now, Flylin only had this uh, design for the handles, but other sellers have other designs. Okay, and I may get another one of these from another seller for even a little bit less money. You know, just to try out theirs and see what. Because I'm going to read the reviews and I'm going to pick one that's got probably the most worst reviews on it. And uh, we'll try that one out and see if it's what they say it is or if it is really good. But, you know what? No sharp edges. All solid steel. Maintenance capabilities are definitely here. You know? Locking system for double lock. No matter which way you go, it's going to lock on you. It's going to stay secure locked. Not a problem. Heavy duty belt clip. This thing is built for the long haul. And it's built for quality. And if you have knots in your hair... Do not be afraid to use this. You can definitely carve those knots out of your head and you shouldn't be damaging this at all. Well, this thing, well, good luck. It's just, it's it's going to be garbage. Anyway, so that's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned to the channel. I got some more trainers I'm going to be ordering in and maybe I'll get one of these while I'm at it too from another seller and we'll check out another one because, hey, different brands, different sellers, different prices. I'm going to see if I can find the cheapest one possible 
uh, cheaper than this and we'll try that out. There's one here for 13 bucks. Um, and we'll just continue on. So thanks for watching. See ya.